Psychology from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Psychology is a nonprofit 501c3 charitable organization headquartered in Berkeley, California, that focuses on preserving island ecosystems and cultures around the world. Founded in 1991, it began with the work of ethnobotanist Paul Allen Cox, who researched tropical plants and their medicinal value in the village of Peleupo in Samoa during the mid 1980s. When the villages were when the villagers were pressured into selling logging rights to their rainforest in 1988 to build a new school, Cox and his wife offered to help secure funds for the new school in return for an arrangement with the villagers to protect their forest. With the help of his friends and family, Cox secured the funds within six months, later earning him and the village chief, Fuyono Senio, the Goldman Environmental Prize for their efforts. Word spread throughout the islands, and with an increasing demand for similar projects, Cox, along with Bill Marais and Ken Murdoch, decided to form Psychology and expand their work internationally. For the first few years, the oper organization operated on a volunteer basis. Duane Silverstein became the first employee in 1999, and headquarters were relocated to Berkeley, not far from his residence. Because of the high risk of extinction for island fauna and the decline in coral reef ecosystems, Psychology operates by focusing on projects that require local villages to sign contracts under which they agree to help protect either terrestrial or marine habitat for a specif specified time in return for new buildings or services. The operations are low cost, averaging around 20 to 25,000 US dollars. Construction is done with local labor and without the use of machinery. Psychology selects its projects by reviewing the recommendations of its field representatives and its scientific advisory board. By mid-2016, Psychology had initiated more than 275 projects globally and helped preserve 753,456 acres of marine habitat and 615,745 acres of terrestrial habitat. At the same time, they had helped construct 104 new facilities and provided 36 programs, which included educational materials, vital medical services, and environmental training. In addition to helping local people on islands like Fiji, Kendu, and many others, their projects have helped protect mangrove forests, sea turtles, marine mammals called dugongs, and one of the rarest primates in the world, the Hainan black-crested gibbon. Psychology also awards its annual Psychology Prize to Indigenous Islanders for their efforts in conservation and cultural preservation. The organization helps support island communities by fostering ecotourism and has helped raise emergency funds following destructive tsunamis. It performs all of these tasks on a modest budget while also saving money by not compensating its board members. It has won awards from Yahoo and Travel and Leisure magazine and has been featured in the music video what About Now, by the American rock band Dowdy. Section 1, History. Psychology was founded in 1991 by ethobotanist Paul Allen Cox in Hawaii, using prize money and consulting fees resulting from his efforts to preserve 30,000 acres of rainforest outside the village of Feleupo on the island of Savai in Samoa. He later recorded these events in his book, Nanafuna, Saving the Samoan Rainforest. Cox began his work in Samoa in 1973 during his first Mormon missionary service, at which time he learned from local people about the medicinal properties of the native plants. After working with local communities in other rainforests, Cox returned to Samoa in 1984 with his family. His aim was to find a cure for cancer, which had claimed the life of his mother earlier that year. In return for the help of local healers called Fofo, Cox offered to share the revenue generated by his research with the local villages. Over time, his research identified five new drugs, including the therapeutic agent Prostratin, a potential treatment for HIV. Prostratin was isolated in a concoction made from the bark of the local mamala tree and shared with him by a healer named Espenese Mauigoa, who used it to treat hepatitis. Cox set up royalty agreements to ensure that the Samoans will share in the revenue. In 1988, his research was threatened when the Samoan government pressured, pressured the village of Faleupo to pay 65,000 U.S. dollars for a new school, 
warning that if the village did not provide a new school within a year, they would withdraw t the teachers from the village, leaving the children without an opportunity for a formal education. Shortly after receiving this notice from government, a foreign-owned logging company offered the village exactly $65,000 to log the entire 30,000 acres surrounding Feliupo. Lacking a source of revenue, these villages eventually sold the logging rights to the forest, but when Cox learned of the situation and witnessed the logging for himself, he immediately sought an explanation from the village elders, and then requested that they halt the logging so that he could raise money for the school. Despite initial skepticism, Cox convinced the high chief, Fuyono Senio, who then helped persuade the rest of the elders. Senio then drew his machete and raced five kilometers to halt the logging. The new school was built after Cox and his wife Barbara were able to raise the money in six months, partly by mortgaging their house. Cox also obtained financial support from others and took over payments on the mortgage for the school. Vern Reed, a businessman and financial supporter of Bat Conservation International, took over payments on the mortgage for the school. Ken Murdoch, founder of the herbal company Nature's Way, and Rex Mon, owner of Forever Living Products, funded the construction of the school and repaid the loggers for their $20,000 advance. During a tribal ceremony held in February 1989, Cox, along with the village chiefs, signed the Feliupo Covenant, which legally protected the forest for 50 years in exchange for their help. During the ceremony, the village chiefs also bestowed chiefs' titles on Murdoch and Mon and proclaimed that Cox was a reincarnation of their god, Nafanua. Because like Nafanua, he did not come from Samoa and had both fought to protect the the village and the forest. The title bestowed upon him made Cox responsible for the well-being of the village and obligated that he return to visit. In 1992, Cox and his friends had finished helping the Samoan vi villagers at Feliupo as well as nearby Tafua, which encountered the same problem. Prior to that, Murdoch, who later became Psychology's president, suggested continuing their work by seeking out more villages with which they could exchange projects for marine and forest reserves. As demand among island villages grew, Bill Marais, a business consultant and executive coach who later became a member of the Board of Trustees and the Chairman's Advisory Council, suggested establishing a nonprofit corp organization to continue their work. He suggested the name Psychology to reflect the organization's focus on island conservation and helped con co-found the nonprofit in 1991, along with Cox and Murdoch. Using his own funds, Marais paid the costs of starting the organization and covered its administrative costs for the first three years. Together with his assistant, Marais helped advertise psychology by giving lectures at schools and universities, visiting other island nations, and writing articles about the work for the local media. In Feliupo, Psychology continued their work, funding projects with a total of 485,000 U.S. dollars as of 2005. When Cyclone Ofa destroyed the primary school at Feliupo in 1990, Psychology helped raise funds to rebuild it. The school was completely rebuilt again in 1991 follow following Cyclone Val. Several years after completing the school, the organization helped establish trails and build a rainforest information center followed in 1997 by an elevated canopy walkway as part of an ecotourism project to help generate income for the people and provide funds for a retirement system for the village elders. The walkway has since become one of Samoa's leading tourist attractions and was yielding an average of 1,000 US dollars each month for the community in 2001, bringing in more money than the villagers would have earned from selling their forest. Satisfied with the results, the villagers at Feliupo declared that they would honor the contract they had made with Cox to protect the forest forever, rather than just 50 years. In 1997, both Cox and Senio, the village chief, shared the Goldman Environmental Prize for their work. For the first six years of its existence, Psychology operated as a volunteer organization with no employees. Four years after being founded, Psychology's administrative office moved to Ken Murdoch's office. The office moved again in 1999 to Berkeley, California, after Cox offered a job to Duane Silverstein, then the executive director of the Goldman Fund, which had previously honored Cox with the Goldman Environmental Prize. 
Silverstein had been inspired by the work Cox had done in Samoa and agreed to take the position of Executive Director of Psychology under the condition that the office be relocated to within walking distance of his house. Section 2. Activities Psychology is a nonprofit organization that works to preserve both island habitats and cultures by exchanging services for local assistance and cooperation with conservation efforts. As of 2000, it was reported to be the only conservation organization to focus entirely on island preservation. Psychology has a 501c3 status, providing federal income tax deductions for some donors, because it is a charitable nonprofit organization. According to its mission statement on its website, Psychology searches for win-win situations where both the in local environment is protected and islanders, re islanders receive some tangible benefit for doing so. Islands encompasses a large portion of the world's surface. Combined, the lo largest 125 islands cover an area the size of Europe, and if the economic zones that include marine reserves, found within a few miles of shore, are included, Islands make up one-sixth of the Earth's surface area and hold half of all marine species. Scientific surveys have shown that coral reefs are declining rapidly due to climate change, dynamite and cyanide fishing, and marine pollution. According to evolutionary biologist E. O. Wilson, bird species that are endemic to islands face a greater risk of extinction, 40 times greater than on the continents. At least 255 island bird species have gone extinct since the appearance of humans, with 158 lost during prehistory and 97 lost between 1600 and 1994. In comparison, between 17 and 20 species of continental birds have gone extinct between 1600 and 1994. Because the small land area of islands can only support small populations, the biggest threat to endemic wildlife is habitat loss. Other threats include direct exploitation, hunting and pet trade, disease, and invasive species. To save island habitats around the world, Psychology staff initiate new projects by first holding meetings with local villagers to determine their needs. These needs often include schools, a community center, solar energy, or freshwater delivery. Once their needs are determined, Psychology makes a deal with the local community, offering to provide the needed service in return for a forest reserve or a no-lake fishing area around uh, no-take fishing area around a coral reef. Facilities such as schools and community centers are built using local labor, and Psychology provides approximately 20,000 US dollars for supplies and to facilitate the construction. Psychology has field representatives stationed around the world who monitor and report the progress of the projects in their region, as well as seek new projects in their respective regions or islands. New project suggestions are reviewed by the Board of Directors. The Scientific Advisory Board provide additional recommendations based on the latest research. In addition to their projects, Psychology played an active role in the creation of the National Park of American Samoa through the work of their scientists and donors. In 2008, Psychology started its Carbon Offset Fund, where donations of 40 US dollars went directly towards renewable energy and reforestation pro projects. That same year, they collaboratively funded the creation of a nursery run by the non-governmental organization Azafadi in Madagascar to raise 3,000 seedlings of the endangered palm Dipsis St. Luci. The two organizations have also collaborated to protect the Manathiate forest in southeastern Madagascar. In Bunakin and, Man and Manado, Psychology was involved in testing a new method of restoring coral reef, which involved planting white ceramic modules that were shaped like three-dimensional snowflakes to maximize the surface area for corals to grow. In 2007, Psychology became an international organization with greater visibility despite their small staff. International affiliate programs such as Psychology Germany and Psychology Japan were created to help raise funds to support island projects. The following year, Psychology UK was created, followed by Psychology Scandinavia in 2009. For its global efforts, Psychology has received several awards, including the Global Vision Award in Travel and Leisure, the Blue Award in Islands Magazine, and Yahoo's 
pick for good in September 2006. Subsection 2.1, Projects. According to their 2014 annual report, Seekology has funded over 250 projects globally. The island communities that have aided in these efforts have collectively received facilities, including schools, community centers, and other important structures. Educational materials, vital medical services, and environmental training have been provided in many programs. When projects are agreed upon with an island community, local rituals often coincide with the start of the project, particularly through the Pacific Islands. A common custom involves drinking kava, a mildly narcotic drink made from the ground-up root of a pepper plant. The ritual is hundreds of years old and has been described by the psychology staff as being relaxing, especially because of the friendly environment. The psychology staff often dress in local attire and try to te- treat the local people as equals without being patronizing. The villagers perform dances and the staff are invited to join in, often to the amusement of the local people. When the projects begin, the work is done without machines, with supplies being shipped on small boats and then be- being carried by hand from the beach. Project costs range between 5000 US dollars and 150,000 US dollars, although the average is between 20,000 US dollars and 25,000 US dollars. The protected areas the result from these deals often involve, off, typically involve a 20 to 30 year commitment. Psychology hopes that during that time the local people grow to respect these resources and ideally progress to a point where they are less dependent upon their natural resources. According to marine biologist Mark Erdman, In a worst-case scenario, if the people violate the contract and destroy the habitat, psychology will have still made a difference in the lives of the people through their low-cost investment. By contrast, Erdman pointed out that larger conservation organizations might invest large sums of money and by not addressing the immediate needs of the people, walk away from a failed project without having helped the community. Examples of psychology's projects include cases where villagers in Fiji refused a 700,000 US dollar offer by foreign businessmen to buy one of the islands to sign an agreement that prohibited development for 20 years and established a 10-year no-take fishing reserve that encompassed 80 square miles around the island. On the island of Kendu, part of the Ba Atoll in the Maldives, Psychology paid 30,000 US dollars in 2003 to build a kindergarten in exchange for a ban on harvesting endangered sea turtle eggs which the government did not prohibit. In the Trang province of Thailand, another project helps protect the habitat of seagrass beds and mangrove forest to provide habitat for endangered marine animals called dugongs. In 2003, Psychology and a Chinese organization worked together to form an agreement with the people of Hainan Island, where in return for scholarships for nearly 200 middle school children, the people would stop cutting down the trees around Bawangling Reserve, home to one of the rarest primates in the world, the Hainan Black Crested Gibbon, and the nearly extinct subspecies of Eld's Deer found on Hainan. In a project on Kat Ba Island in Vietnam, the organization helped protect the golden-headed Langer, another one of the world's most endangered primates, by paying cash and helping establish exclusive harvesting and fishing rights for the local people in return for their efforts in patrolling the beaches and forests for poachers. In 1999, Psychology began to establish a new national park around Mount Ankovetli near Antananarivo in Madagascar. The mountain is home to 120 species of endangered orchids and several medicinal herbs, including Helichrysum gymnocephalum, which is used as an antiseptic and treatment for bronchitis. Senecia Faujasiodes, which is used for healing wounds, Saida altissima, which is used to treat eczema, Brophilium proliferum, which is used to treat coughing, and Brachylena ramiflora, which is used to lower malarial fever. Subsection 2.2 Sri Lanka Mangrove Conservation Project. In 2015, Psychology launched its largest ever project, a $3.4 million initiative to protect all of Sri Lanka's remaining mangrove forests and restore many degraded ones. Through Sri Lanka-based NGO 
Sudesa, also known as the Small Fishers Federation of Lanka, Secology is funding a significant expansion that organizations existing microloan and job training programs. In exchange, the beneficiaries of these programs must agree to assist in protecting their local mangrove habitats. The training is designed in part to give low-income women in these communities alternatives to harvesting mangroves, a subsistence, a subsistence activity that has contributed to the forest's degradation. The project also established three large nursery facilities to grow several species of mangroves to be replanted in areas previously cleared for aquaculture and other unsuitable development, as well as several areas destroyed during the Sri Lankan Civil War. This effort was endorsed by the government of Sri Lanka, which has agreed to assist with demarcating the island's nation's mangroves. Subsection 2.3, Service Awards. Created by co-founder Bill Murray in 1992 and underwritten by Ken Murdoch in honor of his mother, the Psychology Prize is awarded each year to an indigenous islander based on achievements in island conservation and cultural preservation. The recipients of the award are often people who receive little or no public recognition for their work and often risk their lives and well-being to preserve their culture and environment. The prize includes a reward of $10,000. U.S. In 2010, it was awarded to Roberi Desiree from Matsobe Sud in Madagascar for his forest conservation efforts in Baloka Marovato in northeastern Madagascar. Robari, an ecotour guide and research guide, had created his own forest reserve called Antenimiabo, meaning on the high hill, and planned to use his prize money to fund reforestation efforts, develop tourist facilities, and expanded, expand the size of Antenna Miabo. Another winner of this ecology prize was the Icelandic filmmaker and former reporter for RUV Omar Ragnarsson, who won the award in 2008 for his efforts in preserving the highlands of Iceland. Winners of this ecology prize 1992 Ulu Tafua Asinisa Tausaga from Samoa 1993 Fuyono Senio, Samoa, 1994. Vaaslifi Molegi Jackson, Samoa, 1995. AP Lutali, American Samoa, 1996. Taufahau Tupo IV, Tonga, 1997. Mary Thomas, Canada, British Columbia, 1998. Saula Vodonaivalu Sr. Fiji. 1999, Madison Nena, Federated States of Micronesia. 2000, Edwin Take Matsuda, United States. 2000, Doris Matsuda Saramines, United States. 2001, Anuradha Rikamasinghe, Sri Lanka. 2002, Meiti Mongdong, Indo Indonesia. 2003, Elizabeth Reba Konandriana, Madagascar. 2004, Adrian Lassenban, Malaysia. 2005, Felix Sugirathaj, India. 2005, Patrick Pate, Papua New Guinea. 2006, Katut Sarajna Putra, Indonesia. 2007, Kokichi Karaya, Japan. 2008, Omar Ragnarsson, Iceland. 2009, Philip Damon, Papua New Guinea. 2010, Rabari Desiree, Madagascar. 2011, Herman Melandi, Indonesia. 2012, John Aini, Papua New Guinea. 2013, Marie Salim, Maldives. 2014, Ali Shaibu Shakue, Kenya. 2015, Lakshmi Morthy, India. Subsection 2.4, Ecotourism. In response to the growing demand for ecotourism, Psychology opened up its fundraising expeditions to the public in 2006. These trips include de destinations like Fiji and offer both unique travel opportunities and, and a means for helping improve the quality of life for the indigenous people. The experiences have been described as moving because of the close personal interactions with the local people. In some cases, the tour groups visit locations seldom visited by Westerners. On the tours, Psychology encourages its travelers to explore the culture and economy by trying local foods. Following the 2002 Bali bombings, 
Silverstein reported that tourism fell by over 90% on the island of Bali, mostly due to sensational media reporting. Silverstein was in Bali for a few days after the attack and reported that such reporting damaged the local economies, despite what he reported as little or no risk to tourists in the Muslim villages of the region. Subsection 2.5, Tsunami Relief Funds. Following the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami, Psychology established a tsunami relief fund to help four impacted communities with which the organization had previously completed projects. Following the model of their projects, the Psychology staff asked the local people what they needed to rebuild their local economy and infrastructure. In Kirilakele, Sri Lanka, the people requested fishing nets and boats so that they could resume their lifestyle. Goats and chickens were requested by the people of Karacheng village in the Andaman Islands. On Kendu in the Maldives, the tsunami had destroyed the local plant life, so its seedlings were needed to restore the environment. In Trong Province, Thailand, basic structural repair was requested. Psychology emphasized that it would repair and replace the projects that had been damaged or destroyed in the tsunami. As of late 2005, Psychology had raised 261,716 US dollars for the relief work, with all of it going directly to fund the efforts. All donors received details of how the money was spent as well as photos of the work. The California Association of Nonprofits later honored Psychology with their Achievement and Innovation Award at their annual meeting in San Francisco for the relief work. Previous work by Psychology in the region had helped minimize the damage caused by the tsunami. Psychology Prize recipient Anuradha Rick Ramitsinge from Sri Lanka noted that the mangrove forests that were preserved shielded their community whereas nearby villages that cleared their mangroves to create industrial shrimp farms had not fared so well. Mangroves also buffered Karacheng village in the hard-hit Andaman Islands, which suffered little loss of human life or structural damage compared to the nation's capital city of Port Blair. Following the 2009 Sonoma tsunami, Psychology once again started a tsunami relief effort. They helped Samoan villages by providing new water tanks and pipelines and also helped to clean up mangroves and inshore coral reefs that were littered with debris from nearby motels. Section 3, Finances. Psychology is a small nonprofit with only seven full-time staff, and as a result has little overhead costs and low inefficiencies with its modest budget. Its tax identification number is 87-0495235. According to Silverstein, its annual budget for all its staff and office expenditures is significantly lower than the median compensation for business chief executive officers alone. Unlike many organizations, board members receive no compensation and are not reimbursed for the costs of attending board meetings. Unlike other environmental groups, Psychology does not offer memberships, which further reduces its expenditures. In addition to its efficiency, the organization boasts a responsive and a reliable staff who answer the phone instead of using automated answering services. Furthermore, Psychology respects donor privacy and is compliant with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. In 2014, Psychology reported 2,309,541 US dollars in donations and grants and a total of 2,335,000 dollars 35, Two hundred sixty-six U.S. dollars when other revenue was included. Its expenses that year totaled one million six hundred fifty-six thousand seven hundred seventy-two U.S. dollars, with two hundred eighty-six thousand nine hundred eighty-one U.S. dollars going toward fundraising, and one hundred thirty thousand three hundred twenty-nine dollars supporting management and other general expenses. Financial support comes mostly from individuals, foundations, and companies such as New Skin Enterprises, which pays annually in royalties for the plant-based cosmetic formulas Cox developed for facial creams and other skincare products. Board members also contribute a sizable portion of the annual budget, donating a minimum of $10,000 US dollars per year to the organization. Section 4. Leadership. Psychology is governed by its board of directors, which consists of corporate leaders who share commitment to island conservation and the preservation of island cultures. Paul Allen Cox is the chairman of Psychology. He received his PhD from Harvard University and served as a professor at Brigham Young University, the Swedish University of Art Agricultural Sciences, and Uppsala University. Cox served as the director of the National Tropical Botanical Garden for seven years, and as of 2011, he is the executive director of the Institute for Ethnomedicine, which is affiliated with the NTBG. His research interests include island plant ecology and ethnobotany of island cultures. 
and he has published more than 150 scientific papers and reviews. For his research on new medicinal plants, he was named one of 11 Heroes of Medicine by Time magazine. Cox is an advocate of indigenous peoples and has learned several island languages. The executive director of psychology is Duane Silverstein, who for 18 years prior to joining the organization acted as the executive director of the Goldman Fund and headed the Goldman Environmental Prize. He has written articles that have appeared in Asian Geographic as well as various scuba diving magazines and he is a National Fellow of the Explorers Club. Silverstein has met with heads of state around the world, including several presidents of the United States, as well as several secretaries general of the United Nations. In addition to his having work covered in newspapers and periodicals, including Time Magazine, the Bangkok Post, and the San Francisco Chronicle, he was also selected as an All-Stars Among Us in People Magazine, for which he was honored at the 2009 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. In 2008, Silverstein and Psychology were briefly featured alongside several organizations in the music video for What About Now? by the American rock band Darty. In 2010, Silverstein was awarded one of the Jefferson Awards for Public Service and was also given the 2010 Coastal Hero Award by Sunset Magazine. The vice chair of Psychology is Ken Murdoch, who also founded the herbal company Nature's Way after his mother was cured of a serious illness with an herbal medicine. Murdoch played a key role in the creation of Psychology and Nature's Way, covered Psychology's administrative costs for three years. Murdoch has volunteered in Samoa, during which time he resided on Manua and learned the local language. The Scientific Advisory Board of Psychology includes island biodiversity specialists, whose research focuses on the conservation of oceanic and terrestrial island ecosystems. The Scientific Advisory Board generates recommendations for new conservation projects based on the latest research available. Among the 11 members are researcher and Pulitzer Prize winner Jared Diamond, entomologist and evolutionary biologist E.O. Wilson, and oceanographer Sylvia Earle. As the founder of Psychology, Cox is also a member of the advisory board. This sound file and all the text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0. This was read by McKay Salisbury.